It being only my second NCs for um, the 2019-2020 season was canceled. Um, we always knew that the battle between us and Cal was going to be a tough one. It's never going to be easy. Um, but I remember talking with um, Cam and Drew before the with the race um, by saying a statement that I heard from Eddie and Wyatt before. Um, how do you want to be remembered? And understanding or seeing how um, back in 2019 uh, we were in the same situation. Um, Cal was winning, um, but we stepped up and gave it our all. Uh, and I think that was something that helped us leave it in the pool tonight um, and just throw everything we possibly can at this last relay. I'm always kind of flip-flopping on this. Um, I had a great time last summer. Uh, there was a point in time where I was like, I'm definitely going to be done as soon as my senior year is over. Uh, and then last summer was pretty fun. I was like, I'll, I'll, tr I'll swim through 24. But I think, you know, making it a, a like a firm, like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not the type to, like, make, like, those super firm, like, decisions like that. I'll, I'll do exactly what feels right as it goes on. And right now, the only thing I'm thinking about is I'm swimming in the San Antonio Pro Series next week. So that's where my swimming future is right now. And I'm taking it day by day. And so that's kind of all I'm thinking about. So. Um. <laughs> well, I'm taking uh, a little bit of a hiatus in the next week, and I will be thinking about what that will entail for my swimming. Um, but there's a good chance I retire on this on this pretty good note with these great uh, group of guys, and there's these takeaways that I've learned and life lessons and great swimming and all of these awesome memories I've made with this team. So. Uh, I don't think there's a better way to close out a career, um, and I'm really grateful that I had it. But if I do come back, it's going to be, um, it will just be decided next week or <laughs> next week or two. Yeah, I mean, I guess um, I'm not really sure what the future holds at this point. I mean, obviously, I want to let the emotions cool down a little bit, but um, I've got some, uh, uh, I guess I, I'm excited for whether it's continuing swimming or continuing my engineering career. It, yeah, I, I'm. I'm still working on uh, figuring all that stuff out. What percentage are you given that Eddie Reese will be back next year? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. The man <clears throat> excuse me, the man continues to amaze me. He is probably one of the most brilliant, one of the most humble, and just all around one of the, the greatest coach of all time. And it's just it's been a privilege and it's been an honor to swim under him. Um, I think there's a really good chance he'll be back again. Um, whether or not he's in the head coaching position, he's going to be on deck. He's going to be giving his all every practice and making sure we're ready to go. Yeah, I, I think he'll be back, but uh, at capacity, at what capacity, I'm not sure. Um, I think. He can do a whole lot without being there every single day, um, but I wouldn't doubt that he would be there every single morning on deck like he was this year. So, I mean, I think he'll be there as head coach or not. I'm going to say about 37%. <laughs> I'll answer all of it. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Uh, well, wait, what was the question? Percent he's going to come back or not? Yeah, going to come back. 63%. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs>